Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm bringing you the ultimate contradiction, otherwise known as the M1917 Enfield, which is the new infantry scout weapon for the Apocalypse DLC in Battlefield 1. I've already reviewed all of the other primary weapons from the DLC, and I'll link to those in the description below and in my pinned comment if you haven't already seen them. But today is going to be a bit different to my usual reviews. It's going to be much shorter, because I couldn't bring myself to use this weapon for any longer. It made me not want to play the game. A lot of you watching today will have seen previous gameplay from me and will recognise that this footage is way below the standard I usually try to put out to you. But first let's talk about the stats and why some people will like the weapon. The Enfield is a bolt action sniper with the same one shot kill sweet spot as the M1903 sniper or marksman, that distance being 98 meters plus. The difference between the two weapons being the Enfield is an infantry variant, so for those people who were disappointed not to have an M1903 infantry or if you just wanted a super long range infantry rifle, well here you go. It also has a pretty quick rate of fire standing at 60 rounds per minute which beats out the M1903 by 7 rounds per minute and something like the Arisaka which sits at 57 so beating it by 3. It can also utilise a maximum of 6 rounds per full reload and has the same bullet velocity as the M1903 standing at 820 meters per second which is right near the top end of the scout class, the fastest being the Gewehr 98 with 880 meters per second. The Enfield then also has the same spread stats as the Arisaka. This all means that those who are able to use infantry scout weapons with a high degree of accuracy may absolutely love the Enfield, as it will allow them to be even more of a threat at longer ranges than they previously have been. So with that said, why don't I like the Enfield and why have I labelled it as the ultimate contradiction? Well, I quite simply can't see what I'm aiming at with the sights this weapon has. I tried the standard iron sights and the radium sights and I felt like I was playing with a major vision impairment. I tried changing the magnification and I still couldn't see what I was looking at. I just can't get used to it. Some people might be able to, but I feel like most people will feel pretty similarly. That or my eyes just suck. Uh, it, may <laughs> it may also be a different story on PC and you can let me know in the comment section below if that's the case. But with the sights taking up that much of what you're looking at, I just couldn't cope. I felt useless. I mean sure I've hit shots in this footage but the amount of effort required on my part was ridiculous. So combine that difficulty acquiring the target with the super long sweet spot and the near constant hit markers at ranges where it's somewhat easier to see and you have the ultimate contradiction. And those are my thoughts from this very quick rundown of the M90 1917 Enfield Infantry. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you like the Enfield? And if not, why so? And as many of you will be aware, future reviews will be much longer and much more in depth than this one. This is a one-off. Now we need to quickly shoot over to the Board of Awesome to show our respect for the fantastic people who choose to support the channel on Patreon. It means a huge amount and I have the utmost respect for all of you. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below and in my pinned comment, where you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos and feel free to like, favorite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time. Laters.